Now, Positively Jacks, it can seem impossible for one person to make a difference in an entire community, but one Springfield woman's legacy lives on through service and outreach. News 4 Jacks consumer investigator Lauren Verno explains how she left her mark. So many memories on this wall. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then this wall could fill an encyclopedia of the life and legacy of Catherine Hester McNair. This particular community at the time she started her initiative was in Dyer Strait, okay, um, full of gangs, drug dealers. But I literally saw my grandmother go and talk to the gang members, go and talk to the drug dealers by herself as a woman. Who does that? Her daughter, Yvonne Lane, and granddaughter, Tanetta Lane Bine, said McNair never meant or planned to become an advocate for her community. She went to the doctor with these seniors because they were sitting in these doctor's offices. They had Ill ailments, but they didn't understand the language of these physicians. We're talking about seniors that did not finish school. While also demanding change from the men in charge. Former Mayor Jake is, is sh shaking my mom's hand. Even recognition from your local station. From Channel 4, how old do you think that is? I think that is every bit of about over 30 years. Eventually, receiving a proclamation from the city of Jacksonville. When they see her, here come Catherine, here come Catherine. And because they knew when she come, don't tell her no. That same spirit, that same enthusiasm is to drive here today. Following McNair's passing, her daughter and granddaughter took over her legacy. I always say I can't walk in your shoes, Mom, but I try, I sh I'm going to try to do my best. Now running the Bridge the Gap nonprofit out of this building on the edge of Catherine Hester McNair Park. Can you kind of just name off to me all the things you guys do? We have right now about 400 homebounds that um, be, provide services to. Hosting food drives with Feeding Northeast Florida and vaccine pop-ups for the COVID vaccine. We have people that come here, you can tell they just shot themselves up with drugs. But that doesn't stop us from continuing to make the commitment to make a difference. Because if you can reach one, that person can go and get others. Did that start with your grandmother? It started with her. A legacy that lives on far beyond the pictures that line this wall. I'm Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.